Oh my god, the world is ending. Kids would rather be YouTubers than astronauts? But what about space and the, and the moon? This came from a survey in 2019 that was meant to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. And let me tell you, I bet they weren't expecting this response. They found that overwhelmingly, the top jobs the kids aged 6 to 17 in the US wanted was vlogger slash YouTuber. Now this obviously crapped in many people's cornflakes. It seems that no one over the age of 35 can wrap their head around making money in any sort of way other than selling your soul to the corporate 9 to 5 grind. The main consensus is that the entire world is falling apart and every kid in Gen Z is a lazy worthless consumer that wants to do nothing but play Minecraft for a living. There's a lot of layers to this discussion so strap in viewer, we're just getting started. Also apparently somebody named Mike isn't subscribed so Mike, uh it's getting awkward. Click that red button already. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to address is the relationship between being an astronaut and being a YouTuber. And I want to preface this by saying that I don't think it's a bad thing for people to want to be an astronaut. It's perfectly fine for them to want that and pursue that. But I want to talk about how most people are arguing that kids should want to be astronauts. Because not only is space cool, but it's also a stable career that would contribute to society. Most astronauts major in things like engineering, mathematics, physics, or other sciencey things that would make your parents a lot more proud of you than if you majored in something like, I don't know, communications. To an extent, these parents have a point. Being an astronaut or even just studying in these fields generally pays more and is more stable than a YouTuber. But, 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 this is where the bullshit begins. Because over the past 50 years, other jobs that were at the top were professional athlete, actor, and musician. But you didn't see a riot when kids wanted to be those things. And this is where I'm gonna say something controversial, so get ready for it. It's a better plan to become a YouTuber than any of those other things. Oh my god. I know, I know, I know. Gen X is seething right now. But let me defend that. The first thing we gotta look at is the numbers. And I'll start with good old American football. There are roughly 1.1 million US high school football players every year. Of those 1.1 million players, do you know how many eventually will go pro? About 850. That's 0.00075%. You're more likely to get struck by lightning at some point in your life than to go from high school football to the NFL. And although those numbers vary sport to sport, football is one of the easier ones to do. There seems to be some disagreement on the total amount of pro athletes in the US, but the highest number I saw was 5,000, so let's just that there's 5,000 pro athletes in the US. For musicians, there are around 16,000 that are full-time in the US, making up about 0.5% of the total amount of musicians in the US, depending on who you ask, but about half a percent. Now stay with me, there are about 20,000 full-time American actors, which makes up about 2% of all actors in the US. Okay, but wait, we're talking about being an astronaut and all, all these other things, right? So let's look at that. There are 41 active astronauts in the US. Yeah, just 41. Really loving my odds about becoming an astronaut. Again, I'm not trying to crap on these professions. I think it's good when people try to do what they love, but nobody thought the world was gonna end when kids wanted to do these things. Now, I know what you're thinking, Shane, a bunch of people try to be YouTubers too and they fail, they don't make any money. And to that I say, Shut up, I'm getting there. It's tough to estimate just how much money people make on YouTube. For one, everyone gets different amounts of ad revenue based on the types of videos you create. And each creator has their own prices when it comes to things like brand deals, merch, affiliate links, or etc. There's there's a bunch of things. But according to research done by Oxford Economics, which sounds fancy as hell, in 2021, there were 425,000 full-time YouTubers in the US alone. I tried to find the stat for how many active channels there are in the US to get an exact percentage of people who try to go full-time versus people who do go full-time. But I don't think that number exists. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. There are 197 million users in the US, but that's not people uploading content, so it, it's tough to say. That'd be like comparing the amount of people who watched the Super Bowl versus played in the Super Bowl. So it doesn't really make sense to compare it like that. Either way, if you combine the total amount of people who are full-time in every other category, which is musicians, athletes, actors, and astronauts, that's about 40,000 people compared to the 400,000 people doing YouTube full-time. The argument I'm making is that you're more likely to go full-time as a YouTuber than doing all of those other things. So stability, I guess. Now wait, I already hear you in the back and don't worry, I'm gonna talk about it. It's not about how likely you are to make it in these professions. It's bad to encourage people to do it because you're not contributing to society and you're not gaining any valuable skills. Okay, let's talk about contributions to society because I'm not gonna say that I'm advancing the human race in any way by ranting about Avatar 2. Yes, astronauts are more of a net positive, but you could make this argument for any form of entertainment, including sports. Watching man run fast isn't exactly helping the world in any way. Other than it's fun to watch, you can build a community that like shares your interests, and you get to paint your face, I guess. But people don't want to cancel sports or athletes or the music industry just because it doesn't contribute to finding the planet of Pandora. Sorry, I just watched that movie. That's why I'm referencing it a lot. And that leads me into the argument that being a YouTuber doesn't build your skills as a person at all. And look, having an astrophysics degree or whatever you do when you become an astronaut, that's a good skill to have for your future. That's a, it's a, it's a good degree. It's a good skill. I know a lot of people don't see like the point of college now, but personally, I still think it's worth it. It's worth it for the people you meet, the experiences you have, and it's good to have a degree under your belt. Like, like it just did. I personally have a degree in communications and marketing, so I'm not telling you to drop out and be a YouTuber. That's, that's not what I'm saying. 
no, still go to college. But, 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 if you are trying to be successful at making videos and putting them on the internet, you will develop good marketable skills. Marketing, SEO strategies, Photoshop, video production, presenting in front of a camera, brand negotiations, script writing, there's a lot that goes into making these videos. I literally have a script that I wrote for this video and it's over five pages long. My point is that if it's actually something that you wanna be successful in, it's more than just turning on a camera and playing Minecraft. If you put the same amount of time that people in other industries put, like athletes, actors, and musicians, you will get more out of it and you're more likely to succeed i know that's i know it's controversial i know it is but it's true again i'm not shitting on these other professions i still think that they're good i'm just trying to make a point also please go to college please still don't don't drive out because i said this i feel like i have to talk about this because every other news program did a lot of people are associating all of this to china and how a similar study showed that the number one thing that chinese kids wanted to be was an astronaut which first of all i researched dozens of these articles and videos and websites that were saying this none of them actually cite the source of the survey and most of them didn't give specifics or gave different percentages on how many kids actually chose to be an astronaut so that's a uh interesting we have sort of a problem here not like china to lie to seem superior or anything but let's assume that this is true half the kids in china want to be astronauts the current population in china is just over 1.4 billion people how many people do you think china sent to space in their entire history like like total amount of people ever a thousand a few thousand ten thousand i mean half their kids want to be astronauts so it's got to be at least a decent amount right i'll give you a second that's right 16. As of the end of 2022, only 16 Chinese nationals have ever been to space in any capacity. Now, they are building a new space station, and they did just send up new parts for that, but the U.S. does that all the time for the International Space Station, so... Yeah, not much going on there. Like I said, I'm not trying to talk crap about being an astronaut, but that doesn't mean it's going to translate into some big societal shift where all of China is trying to recolonize Mars and every kid in the US is stuck at home trying to make Roblox videos. Look, I know it's scary thinking that all kids want to be YouTubers. And honestly, it still is a new-ish industry. But hopefully I provided some context as to why this might not be the worst thing in the world. And if you made it this far, then you are one of few. So I especially appreciate you for watching this whole video. If you want to watch more of me talking, then I made a video on how talk shows became cringe. So tap on the screen if you want to see that. And I'll see you next one. Please subscribe. And yeah, thank you. Bye.